Thank you for that. <laughs> and Howard. You wouldn't lie to me. If, if you really play your cards right, yes. our next guest may join us. Ooh. Ooh. Who is it? Another woman you love almost as much as me. Who is it? Ladies and gentlemen, Jewel. Oh, I do love her. Birthday, Robin. Jim Good to see you. Good to see you, Jewel. Thank you for that great intro. You guys are the suckiest crowd I've ever been around. <laughs> Way to Maybe win them all. Maybe ever. Right. <laughs> I have to thank you. A lot of people know my story from your show, actually. You guys gave me an opportunity to actually talk about my life, and it's an unusual thing to have that opportunity. Um, so a lot of you might know I was really lucky. I got to... When I was 16, I had this dream that I got to open up for Bob Dylan, and five years later, I actually got to open up for Bob Dylan, which was like a dream come true, except that there was more to my dream. In my dream, Bob Dylan totally came on to me. Ew. And so I was really worried that like the rest of my dream was gonna come true, and so I got on a tour, and his tour manager was like, welcome to the road, Dylan doesn't watch the opening act, he doesn't listen to him, and I was like, great. After four nights, he was like, Dylan actually wants to meet you. He's requesting your presence in his dressing room. And I was like, I know. But you can't not meet Bob Dylan. So I went downstairs and he uh, was really great. He really mentored me when I was about 20 or 21. And by mentor, I mean I blew him and he read me books while, while it happened. So that was, that was cool. Yeah. And then Neil Young took me out on the road and really mentored me, had a big influence on me. But in my entire career, I have to say there's really been one songwriter that has affected my songwriting, especially my lyric writing. Um, very prolific songwriter. Uh, the fact that he wrote this in sixth grade is really, I think, a testament to what a prodigy, what a prodigy he was. So it's a pleasure to sing this song that, that my hero wrote. See, Robin? You guys have to help me sing the chorus. It must be true. Mary, come play with me And I'll give you a silver, silver nickel oh, And there be another one like me All you care for Golden dimes, all you hear are devil's chimes. Silver, nickel, silver, nickel.
How about that? Jewel. Silver nickels and golden dimes. I wrote a hit. I wrote that in sixth grade. It doesn't sound like what you wrote. <laughs> Am I nuts or is that a good song? Jewel, is that a good song? You're nuts. That song speaks for itself. I mean, the, the, the amazing empathy that you had for the plight of the working woman. That's it right. felt they had to trade their self-esteem for money. It was really feminism paving the way. It taught me a lot about being a woman. And, Jewel yeah. really understands my music and who yeah. I am as a person. I Thank think you. she's reading in. And <laughs> it's a you. great way of saying no. I, yeah, right. yeah. I, I can't tell you how honored I am that you just did that song <laughs> because it redeems me. I told Robin I am a great songwriter and she doesn't believe it. Thank you, Jewel. What made you, like, in sixth grade, talk about giving a woman money for sex? Like, I, have, I have no idea. I was just sure that was my future. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and have you ever paid a woman for sex? I have never done that. I would just be humiliated. I'd rather just sit home and stare at a wall than do that. Interesting. That's it, Jewel. See, now you love me even more. <laughs> but, no, that's but Jewel, Jewel everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you. With a blast from Howard's past. <laughs>